If your organization aims to increase on-site visitation, and whose doesn't, then it's important to understand the basics of the visitor engagement cycle. You're watching Know Your Own Bone, Fast Facts for Cultural Executives. I'm Colleen Dillon Schneider. Let's start here. In order to get someone in the door, then we need to know what motivates the visitation decision-making process in the first place. With help from impacts and the discretionary decision-making model informed by the National Awareness Attitudes and Usage Study, it's clear to see that reputation is a top five motivator for visitation. This is true among the U.S. composite market, but it's also true among high propensity visitors, or those folks who profile as our target audiences. Okay then, well, what goes into reputation, you may be wondering? And it's a good question. According to the model of diffusion, two things feed into reputation. The first is called the coefficient of innovation, or things that you pay to say about yourself, such as advertisements. The second thing that goes into reputation is called the coefficient of imitation, or things that other people say about you. This includes word of mouth endorsements, social media, earned media, and peer review sites like Yelp and TripAdvisor, for instance. What others say about you is 12.85 times more important in driving your reputation than the things that you pay to say about yourself. So yes, organizations need to market effectively, but more important than that, they benefit by communicating and facilitating the sharing of others' positive experiences and perceptions. When we connect with audiences off-site, we increase our reputation and, as we now know, Reputation is a top motivator for visitation. So now let's say that we've secured a visit and the visitor's there on site, now what? The goal now is to increase visitor satisfaction. It may seem obvious, but high on-site satisfaction values correlate with a greater intent to revisit during a shorter duration, as you can see in this data from impacts. When visitors have an on-site experience that feels relevant to them, it increases satisfaction values and thus their likelihood to provide positive endorsements. This fuels right back to offsite connection, which increases reputation and leads to a visit, which increases satisfaction and leads to endorsement. It's an ongoing cycle and to get it right, organizations must aim for connective communications that increase their reputations and relevant onsite experiences that increase satisfaction. And now you're in the know. Thanks so much for watching. For more information, click on the link and check out Know Your Own Bone.